right y'all happy what is today happy saturday it is friday march 30th and turn this down before i get copyright um y'all ain't seen us on camera in like a hot minute like it's been a very very long time but in any case i thought i'd try to vlog this day a little bit for y'all if you are new to the channel welcome y'all know who i am my name is case that's mp and um we married okay so that should answer all your questions for your newcomers and uh we're on our way to alatoona grill it's a restaurant in alatoona and we're gonna take you along with us for the ride so you got anything to say to the peoples no but okay okay y'all let's um Let's see what this restaurant is about. I really should have took my Fitbit off because this is kind of tacky. You want to stop at that ramen sale? No. Or no. This one? Yeah. No, you know I don't be liking that. Um, you be acting okay. ugly. No, but they be tripping and they stuff be kind of dirty looking. Um, yeah, I should have took my Fitbit off, but yeah, whatever. That's kind of like wearing a bomber jacket. Like, remember them? <laughs> when you dressed up. Yeah, well, that's like wearing a bomber jacket with your prom dress. Like, who does that? But I knew people who did do that. Um, so this is this is the equivalent of that. I'm wearing my Fitbit with some decent clothes. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. So we just pulled up to the Alatoona Grill. <laughs> it's on um, the lake, which is really nice because there's a lot of um, boats out on the water. So that's really nice. Um, however, this we're in Georgia. And you know, certain places in Georgia are not always so welcoming. So we're going to go in here with good attitudes and see what's up. And... Uh, We'll show you around. And we gay too. They might oh, kick us right man. on up out of here. Okay, we'll be back. Come on. So dumb, y'all. Huh? If um, Guy Fieri can go to all these places, why can't we? Diners, dives, diners, drive-ins and dives or whatever, drive-ins, diners and whatever you call it. <laughs> What kind of 
safety shit is this? <laughs> Only in redneck you country. You recorded that shit. It is being recorded. Only in redneck country, I tell ya. Like, no seat belts, no nothing. Kid in the front just hopped on her leg. Okay, they gonna hold on to the dashboard, I guess. <laughs> they act like this is a golf court. Where are y'all going? I just really want to know where y'all are going. Now, you know, if that was some of us over here piled up, you know, we get the sirens pulled on us fast in the mood. All right, you guys. So, we are I'm out of the restaurant. will last for this one. We're out of the restaurant. Um, I didn't really want to record too much in there, but y'all kind of saw a little bit. I turned the camera a little bit. Definitely not what we expected. The food, if I had on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it a four. I'd give it a two. Um, yeah, I de I'll give mine a four because I did eat all of my <coughs> salmon, but I had to eat it real fast as go this way. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to eat it fast, um, so I really couldn't think about the flavors in my mouth and, or and, where you were at and how the and just the whole thing. yeah. And I just didn't really look around too much. And look, I don't want to make this seem like oh, um. No, that's just what it is. I just don't want to make this seem like, you know, it's all... You're not slowing down. It could have been a car I saw coming. that. Quit talking to me. I seen it. it. Oh, so that's how you're going to talk to me? No. Somebody could have been coming around this corner No, fast. I saw that. But you wasn't But looking. with you talking to me, I might would have looked at you and got thrown off. So, I saw it. Y'all just see how she snapped at me on camera because I'm worried about my life. Anyway... Um, not to be like that. And it's very interesting that Babe tends to have a different experience in, in an all-white establishment. And my thing is, I wasn't uncomfortable. I just didn't like being there. And she was just, like, tiptoeing around. And I'm like... No, I wasn't tiptoeing around. I was just looking at it and trying to give it a chance. And... But it was just like... And not just an all-white establishment. There's certain type of white people, like, you know, us being black gay women going around them. It's always like this um, funny feeling. Um, you know, you get the looks, you get the stares, and stuff like that. But anyway, we stayed. I'm like, we're going to stay. We're going to eat. I ordered the salmon with the spinach and sticky rice. It was kind of like this Asian fusion type of thing because it tasted like teriyaki sauce or something like that babe had scallops um and asparagus her scallops were very chewy and we thought since us being on the lake that we'd have a better seafood experience and like my teeth right now feel like real chalky and i don't know if it was the water or the spinach that made my teeth feel chalky but i feel like i could rub the back of my teeth with um coconut oil because it feels like it lo they lost their luster like it's nothing but chalk in my mouth that experience was fucking horrible. Just cut it. I'm just trying to tell them if y'all are in Georgia and anybody tells y'all don't to cook, go there. If you into and you want to go to a restaurant, um, Lake Alatoona Grill, Do the Alatoona. Not go there. The Alatoona. You have a weak stomach. Don't go there. The Alatoona. The Alatoona going on. You see what I'm saying? The Alatoona Grill is probably not the place for. Yeah. That's for real, for real. This is the for real. But think about, um, well, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see what type of town we're in. And then you guys be the judge. You be the judge. So, <laughs> you tell me how fine the dining was over here in Alatoona. Um, I feel like we're in an alley. I think we kind of are in the alley. So, not judging if you live in a place like this, but typically these are like down home places and you probably should be trying to have like a seafood experience over here. But like I mentioned before, hold on. Like I mentioned before, we were trying to be like Guy Fieri and stuff. You know how like he goes to these hole in the wall places and they have like really, really good food. So we were like, maybe this might be one of those places. Diners, drive-ins and dives. Is that the name of the show? Diners, drive-ins and dives, diners dines and drive whatever y'all know who got fieri is right so we thought that was going to be like one of those places we weren't treated rudely or anything like that i don't think we really got too much of the side eye there but it's just definitely like fish out of water fish out of water so when you think about mullets and uh cargo shorts and merrill shoes and 
wet ponytails and then we got on red pumas no, and ray bands uh, we runny just eyeliner um yeah runny eyeliner they like keep he, doing this <laughs> like they got slapped around um <laughs> we definitely didn't look like we fit in there but i wasn't i wasn't uncomfortable but i really wasn't no, comfortable I wasn't. I wasn't uncomfortable but i wasn't comfortable i'm like mm, and the food ain't that great and the service is really slow our waitress was pretty nice uh ain't complaining about her at all but it's just um mm -hmm, we ain't coming back so now we are headed back towards our neck of the woods and we're gonna see what we get into over there Just record us. Do we have to be talking all the time? Do I have anything to say? Let me pay attention to these signs because I think up here is going to be like Red Top Mountain. Damn, we way over there. Well, that's where we came. Remember when we came off of? Well, it's not Red Top Mountain, but it'll it's somewhere over there. But we're going back. got an allergic reaction from those scallops. They probably was old or something. They were very, very tough. Yeah, they probably just found them on somebody else's plate. <laughs> Throw them on that plate. I told you, I had to eat mine very fast. Oh, no. I had to eat mine very, very Pay fast. Pay attention to me tonight when I'm asleep. So. That car is super long. Is too. Mm -hmm. You should have said, babe, you are too. And that was so. Why are your seat all up in the camera? That's just me. Just sitting up like that? Like you in a high chair? wasn't about my mother uh, oh so your girl made a big goof and took us about 20 miles out of the way because 30. it was not 30 
It was not 30 miles out of the way. I took us because if we were 15 miles away from where we no started. No need to explain. No need to explain. No. If we were 15 miles away from the restaurant to this restaurant, that's 15 miles. So I was 15 miles. 20, 30, I mean, it's yeah. all the same. No, I was 20 miles out of the way of the restaurant. But I'm not tripping. I learned a lesson. Mm -hmm. and we spent time. You know, or whatever. Found but out that you was cheating. Yeah, I was cheating on my diet. That's about all the cheating I'm gonna do. <laughs> so now we are on our way to this restaurant called Capers uh, in Kennesaw. We do like Capers. We restaurant hopping. <laughs> we we we're going there for the dessert. Yeah, we restaurant hop every weekend. It's mad getting mad at food. money away. Yeah, cause we just left. Um, spent seventy there. Yeah, we spent seventy dollars. Seventy dollars there. Oh, that's what you wanted to say about them keeping your change. What they do, babe? Every restaurant keeps my change. If something is $68, I should get my $2 back if I give you, you know. So we've had that happen at the Juicy Crab. We've had that happen at this restaurant. It happened, yeah. it's happened quite a few times. And I'm like, is that a thing down here in the South where they just round up the amount of money <laughs> that, you know. You give them, they, if something is 65, you just take $70. Yeah. And the thing about it is they only do that with cash, you know, so we usually, well, when babe takes me out, she pays in cash. When I take her out, um, I pay with my card. So they don't do it to me, but they do it to her with her cash. So she was like, so she got an extra $2 off of me for a tip because she didn't bring any singles or small bills back to the table. She knew what she was doing. She, she, she was on meth anyway. Well... And you were mad at the dude at the Juicy Crab, but you were really mad oh, at him. Oh, he was trying to be real slick. He 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 let that be known, but I let it be known too. I know Don't what you did. That. I know Don't what you did. That. Don't do that. So we're on our way to Capers. And yeah. Go get dessert, and I'm gonna get a chocolate martini. I'm not drinking. Yeah, I'm so we're gonna go that. share. So you gonna have to drive. Capers is trapped. I'll drive, but you acting like you are gonna get super drunk off. Oh, of that that chocolate martini be hard. <laughs> so they yeah. make the best yeah i'm not gonna drink anything i am you weird. might sip it we're gonna share the bread pudding i offered to make one but she said my bread pudding was nasty so that's the first i've ever heard of that well i don't want you to waste your time making it and i really didn't think it was good i mean it could be better but you know what you messed up on but I'm just saying, I ain't gonna let you waste your time making it and be lying, just eating it. I've been doing that for how long? Not like that, but I'm saying, I don't want you to make it. I want you to just, you know, enjoy yourself. First I'm taking you of out. all, I told you why my bread pudding didn't turn out. I'm taking you out. We were just happy to be sitting. Is it over here? No, it's no. the next one. We just happened to be sitting in the house that day. And I went in the pantry to see what we had. We had a little bit of bread. We had a little bit of eggs. So my bread pudding came out a little bit too dense because I didn't have enough bread or enough sugar, as a matter of fact, when I think about it. So therefore, it didn't turn out right. Right, don't need to explain none to nobody. I'm explaining it to you. Because I know I can cook. Yeah, you can. Um, so, yeah. Oh, roll up on this so let me show you where Capers is. I'm about to run this, but them cameras be catching. Yeah. They just opened two hours ago. Oh, you know they be crowded. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. god. But we going to the bar. That's if we can find a parking tripping. spot. No, yeah, right here, right here. Oh, schniz now. Hold on now. It must be our lucky day. Mm -hmm. We got a parking spot right in the front. Ooh. We got favor. Yes. Yeah, Come gonna, on, let's go. It's a new year. We ain't joking like that no more online. Because <laughs> they'll put us down. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the restaurant that we're going into. Capers. I'm just going to go into the bar and order this bread pudding. Have a martini. And we're going home. And we're going to finish watching this show that you don't like with that. Those realtor girls. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Hey, how are y'all doing? Good, how are you?
cheer? No, not cheer. Cheers to uh, me cussing, me cussing that lady out tonight. I was gonna say that. Yes. On TV. Good. Very good. Ooh, man, I oh hear I even spilled that a little bit. You spilled that was like thirty-seven worth yeah, of drink. Probably, shit, probably two dollars. <laughs> you spilled a dollar thirty-seven no, worth. I had to get that up. <laughs> Yeah, it is still very nice out. So, we came, we ate, and we it's left. It's always a beautiful time. Yeah, especially when you come on a Saturday night. Yeah. It's nice in there. It's so and the, nice And out. the weather is really nice. It's not too cool. Ooh. It's not too hot. It's just perfect. Ooh, it's sex weather. Man. Huh? <laughs> so now we're on our way home. How is this dental floss all on the seat? So we're on our way home. And yeah, so you guys came along with us today. I'm not gonna be vlogging anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera off. Kill it. Thanks for coming along. We're tired. Kind of angry about that. We're always mad about spending money. I think if y'all go back and watch oh, a lot of our vlogs, a, oh. we complain a whole lot about the restaurants that we go to. I mean, I cook four, four, maybe five good days out of the week. I, I can't get no reprieve from cooking on the weekends. Like, because there's no good places to eat. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> um, and drink responsibly. Peace out.